Hey everyone, Lingsy here, and in today's episode, I've got a lot planned. And for those of you guys who may have missed the last episode, I'll put a card in the top right hand corner of the video so you guys can check it out. But we're going to be building a flying ship. And that flying ship is going to be carrying these mushroom islands over here to our mesa. So without further ado, let's get into today's episode and build the whole bottom of the ship and pick up exactly where we left off. Check it out. We got both sides of the boat finally done. I think that looks way better. This was way easier to do because the other side, I just basically copy pasted on the other side. Just pretty much mirrored exactly what I needed to do there. And over here, got a little bit more of the actual design going in here. I'm going to be using dark or wait. No, this is a uh, brown terracotta. Has a nice block here in the background. So I'm going to build this all up with brown terracotta. Then I'm going to bring the brown terracotta to the front of the ship. And even brought out the windows here a little bit. I'm really happy with it. this is all turning out. The deck of the ship is still in question. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be doing for the deck of the boat. But we'll cross that bridge when the time happens. But anyways, first thing I need to do is I need to focus on the back side of the boat. And really bringing out a lot of those lines all right got the terracotta going all the way around the back here coming up with a little bit of the design underneath here for the hall of the boat i'm loving the shape of this so far incorporating some lamps to look like bells in a way and then a little bit of the shroom lights to come up as a little bit of a color here but working a little bit more on a, this side bringing out a lot of texture and a lot of depth inside the side of the boat and this is exactly what i mean by going with like more of a monochrome palette where everything will be more dominantly one color and then just using that one color to incorporate as much shape and dimension as I possibly can here, which I'm absolutely in love with, but uh, it's going to take a lot of uh, mangrove, sadly. But yeah, I really like that so far. But now that we have a little bit of the design worked out on the side here, I want to work up the brown terracotta up here and I want to bring it all the way out to the front and attach it to the keel of the ship, if that's what it's called, the keel. Uh, so I can accentuate this line here a little bit better. So let's go ahead and start doing that now. Just like that. So you have a little bit of a border of the brown terracotta going all the way here and it kind of brings out the entire ship a little bit more. I know that there's a little bit of a flat line right here, but obviously we're going to bring that down just like we did down there and start working it out a little bit better. But I think that I think we're on the right track. But quickly, I have a little bit of an idea on potentially adding in a little bit of brown terracotta right in the middle of the ship to kind of incorporate a really nice racing stripe. Could work, could look stupid. Stay tuned. Let's find out. Like that. Give it like a nice little pinstripe all the way down the middle of the boat. Kind of helps divide it. Really helps out with a lot, a lot of this wood right here. Kind of like standing out a lot better. I think that these two colors go so well with one another. And I'm absolutely in love with this so far. And to go with that, I also added in some tinted glass windows. And if you look at it from up here, you'll notice there's a little bit of a gradient. So basically it's tinted glass with lichen underneath. And I'm really enjoying the way that that's looking. But I think it's time. I think it's time that we figure out what I want to use for the deck of the ship. I'm going to be probably going with the campfires here because I think that's going to go really well because I'm leaning towards spruce. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Well, spruce doesn't look that bad. And I think it goes extremely well with the campfires as well. So right now I'm going to start texturing the entire deck of the ship. And I also got to take this brown and I got to do the exact same thing on the other side because totally didn't forget to do that. And when it comes down to texturing the floor, I'm just thinking about using the spruce planks, working my way in here a little bit and slowly transitioning into the middle of the ship and also utilizing a little bit of the spruce trap doors as well for like little bits and pieces of patchwork. I think that would be really nice. And then just try to cover up a little bit of the ship. But I think this looks really nice the way that it's all shaping up so far. And just like that, I don't know if you guys can pick it up on YouTube, but got ourselves a little bit of a pathway here as we walk through here. So I pretty much just set it up where the most of the walkways are going to be. So we're going to have doors here, staircase here, which would probably be dark oak. 
and then as we walk down the middle of the ship we've got a little bit more texture in place here and then did a little bit of a design on the pillars themselves and then made this guy look like it's being held up a little bit like so and then made a little bit of an opening that we're going to expand on once i start to make my way down but i think it's time for this part of the video where i've been pretty much dreading this entire time and i think it's about time that we take on the sails of the ship so wish me luck hopefully i come back and we have sails instead of a completely broken down ship that's completely on fire so we'll see what happens so for our first sail for the boat i'm gonna do a triangular sail it's gonna basically link up all the way up to there i think i've got a good curvature of the back side of what the sail is gonna look like here now it's time to basically take this and curve it up into like that point right there i think that will be a good point to kind of stop things at make the the bottom one a little bit more flat and then we'll make the top part a little bit more curved i guess aha uh -huh. just like that all the curvature of the front thingy got this whole dealio going in here it's a nice little arrow now time to bring the sail out like this to make it look like the wind is basically being pulled from over there which is why all of our sails are angled so that'll be up next just like that i think that's absolutely perfect now time to replace this with the actual building block that i want to use with the sails and that's going to be the bone blocks and the mushroom stem and maybe putting some holes in the sail would look really really cool as well huh and just like that completely replaced the bone blocks really stand out to look like a little bit of patchwork with the sails this thing i want to connect up to that whatever this the keel of the ship and i want to work my way up a little bit more with the other sails but that's exactly what i have in mind kind of give it more of a dynamic look when it starts to come out making it look like the wind is blowing from over here into our sails here a little bit wow well we got another sail cut up and going i went through so many iterations of this sail that i don't even want to talk about it but i think this is absolutely perfect for what i want to do for the front of the ship i did get rid of all of the the little mass stuff and things like that felt like they're a little bit too distracting for what i wanted to do i also incorporated a triangular sail back here which i think works very very beautifully and then from here i'm going to be doing a little bit of like a like a little bit of a cable or rope system back here that's just going to kind of tie it off and maybe even add in another triangular sail in here but i think i'm ready to take on to the next stage of filling in the middle of this and i don't think it'll be very very tough to do so let's go ahead and try doing that now but before we do that let me light up the top of the deck here because this place is an absolute mob farm so i'm just gonna quickly light this thing up because as i'm building the sails up top i'm having so many mobs spawn down here and i really don't feel like rebuilding anything with a creeper blowing anything up so i'm gonna slap down some little bit of torch spam never hurt nobody got the whole thing filled out uh, but it's looking a little bit too like straight right now what i think i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna start building these things out a little bit creating like these little circles so i can give it more of like an actual wind effect but so far i think it's coming together really nice now that i got a lot more of a dynamic shape going to my sails i think it's time to do the thing and replace the sails and make it look all white and stuff so we're gonna start doing that now The smart thing to do before we actually start mapping out the sails is we're going to build ourselves a mushroom farm. And where's that mushroom farm going to go? Well, I'm going to put it inside the ship. I'm hoping building the mushroom farm just in here will have enough space for me to put the actual mushroom stem farm. That way, when we're working on the sails up top, we can actually have a primary source of getting the mushroom stems and everything like that. I think this one primarily works off of brown mushrooms. And of course, I'll link the video in the description if everything works out. So wish me luck. And that's looking like the footprint that we're going to need for our mushroom stem farm. So that should actually work out beautifully. It only goes up to around there. And then the backside where all the mushroom stems are going to collect and get pushed into is just going to get farmed up over here. So, so far, so good. Everything seems to be going really well here. We have our dispenser system right here where we're going to have this guy that's going to dispense all of our bone meal into our mushrooms. This is our detection system right here that's going to detect when the mushroom stems grow up which is going to basically send it a giant thing back here. 
Over here, I've got a, my collection system. I think everything's going really well. And then now I think I got to do a little bit of this action. So I'm going to pull this guy all the way back. Like that to go with my temporary blocks. And then we'll have these guys facing inward. And then the same thing goes on this side as well. All the way back. And I think this is where I'm actually going to be farming the brown mushrooms. But I could be wrong. So far, it's going well. I've expanded the ugly. Check it out. Probably one of my greatest creations ever. Nowhere near being done yet, but, you know, got this whole thing. Did a water vader. Popped up to another platform up here. Lots of ugly lights and stuff like that. Made it all the way up to this point. So, so far, so good. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't build in the wrong way. I think I'm done. That wasn't that hard. I'm going to obviously make this place look a little bit more pretty because right now it's pretty ugly. But I think I can just run this whole thing and we will see if everything works properly. But everything looks to be in order here. So let's run a test. There you have it. Our mushroom stem problem is completely fixed and our bone meal problem has just been resurrected. Resurrected. Resur resurrected anyways i'm gonna farm up all this stuff and for those of you guys who are wondering probably got about a little bit of a double chest of the mushroom blocks here or maybe just shy of the uh the double chest there and about three stacks of mushroom stems and i think i utilized about 40 mushrooms something around that realm i don't know but it's better than what we had before so we'll be running this while we figure out the sales and well with that out the way it's time to go back to the sales so i want to do a big sale up top here and i want to do like a medium sale underneath here so i want to have one sale two sale and then i don't know what to do back here maybe one sale back there but i'm enjoying the shape of these things so far just kind of bringing this guy out a little bit to try to bring it out at least a few blocks past the boat since i noticed this one comes up to about there and i definitely want this back sail to be a little bit bigger it's gonna be it's gonna be a chunky one one big sail up top medium size scale scale sail same same uh and here in the middle we got our crow's nest placed up in here as well going around here got a nice little crow's nest up in here i want to add in more of the triangular sails up in here as well and I don't know what to do back here. Like, should I build like one big sail back here just to kind of equal everything out? Like, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure what's going to go on this one, but that's going to be the next one we're going to figure out. Uh, I just don't have all of the, uh, the mushroom stems to make this happen. So I think we're going to shift gears and we're going to start working on this a little bit while running the mushroom farm at the same time. I think this is going to work out nicely. I decided to do away with the other triangular sail I've been talking about uh, so much, but I just didn't really think it would look that good. I obviously have to do a lot of rigging and all that kind of stuff, but so far, so good. And I also want to add a nice, really cool, like, uh, like flag up here, potentially like a mushroom, like mushroom flag. I think that would also be really, really cool, but let's get back to work. One thing we can do before we get all the mushroom stems and stuff like that is we can connect up all these sails here get rid of all the stone basically build up all the crow's nests and just kind of keep the ball rolling with all of that so i'm going to start replacing up all these sails and even these like little wires and stuff i'm going to make that out of dark oak so we'll see what that looks like well a little bit more mushroom stem later still not enough to do all the sails so i think it's about time we take on the back of the ship here i'm thinking dark oak for the stairs would look really really nice and then maybe like a little bit of a lighter brown here in the middle we'll see what happens maybe we'll actually go with like pink that could be a nice like really eye-catching color but this time to let's put working on the back side of the boat now i have a weird idea and i'm not sure if it's going to work so 
What if I use the blossom wood to bring out the shapes of the pigs here? Would that look good? Kind of feeling like, you know, we come down here and we replace all of our granite. Obviously, I'm going to replace that with an actual like full log block. But I would kind of curious to see what this would look like exactly if we really made them look like pigs. I also really like the bark color. I think it looks really nice. So let's just quickly do this. And if not, then we'll figure out a new block. And if so, then I guess we'll move ahead on it. So where's my X? I'm going to see what this looks like ultimately from afar. Because that is totally the color that a pig would be in. That works a lot better than I would have thought, honestly. This up here, this could probably be better if it was dark oak, just because I feel like now it's a little bit out of place, but fly away and let's like take a look at it. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do that. I think that looks really freaking cool. Got our pigs in place. One thing that we're missing here is the snow, and I think I got the perfect block to make that happen. So coming in here. Let's see what this would look like if I replace these blocks right here with the snout coming all the way across. It's like, ooh, is that the color we're looking for? Wait, I'm not, a, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I didn't, I didn't test this out. We're gonna, gonna see what this looks like before we really commit. If not, this is probably not gonna make it into the final cut of the video. We'll see what we're dealing with here. That, does that look like a pig snout? Be honest, is that too much? Oh, you know what? Actually, uh, you know what? I'm looking at it and I like it. Yeah, no, no, no. That looks good. All right. Mine, mine are freak out. I guess this is going to make it into the video. Nice. Oh, and I added the like little like pig, uh, little pig ears right here. And this guy's got eyelids because it's supposed to be a piglet and added the doors as well. And I'm really loving the way this is shaping up. Time to work on the little bit of a crown up here, though. I right, got the side of the ship done now. And the three pigs are looking fantastic, working out a little bit of the crown here. So far, I'm really loving the side of the ship here. So let's take a look at this a little bit better. Yeah, I'm going to carry that design going all the way around the ship. And then I'm also going to carry this design up to the top of the ship. And then I'm thinking about using probably spruce again for the top top of the ship. And then we'll find something to do up here. But back to the mushroom stem farming. And well, it's come to my attention that I have absolutely no dark oak left. So I'm going to have to farm up some more dark oak in order to carry on with the ship. So that's fun. That should cover when it comes down to dark oak for the entire ship now. And a little bit extra here. I'm going to have to farm up some more mangroves, so that's lovely because I can't wait to do that. You know how much mangrove is uh, fun to farm. So let's start getting the inside of the boat now. And that will also kind of darken up the colors underneath here. So let's go ahead and start doing that. You ever wondered what an entire shulker box of dark oak logs looks like that was completely used in like 10 seconds? That's basically what it looks like. So needless to say, I'm going to need a lot more dark oak in order to finish this room. I'm not going to strip any of it right now because there's a lot going into this room and I want to texture it after the fact, but that's basically where we're at right now for all the dark oak. I just need to kind of finish up this room up here a little bit. And then on the upside right here, this is going to be spruce right here. And then I got a nice little railing that I'm going to add in here. So nobody falls off the side of the boat because you know, that would be kind of dangerous. But yeah, everything's coming along really nicely, but I'm kind of running into some issues right now where I'm running out of more and more resources and it's becoming a bigger and bigger task. So yeah, I love chopping trees. And 
just like that we are completely done with all the sails i absolutely love how that brings together the entire boat there are some times that i wish that i use lightmatica and making these sails is one of those moments this one sail in particular took me six hours to do trying to map it out trying to figure out exactly how i wanted to shape the sails and how i wanted the wind to be blowing through the sails and everything like that but for the first time of ever doing sales, I think that they turned out pretty dang beautiful, don't you think? I've also relocated a little bit of the shulker monster that I had in place here, making this place look a little bit more tidied up. Even did a little bit of work with the cannons here. These cannons are actually going to be shooting out our grappling hooks that are going to attach to these islands. So like this one right here, over here. basically going to shoot a grappling hook over to the island so we can walk across the ropes. I think that'd be a really cool thing to incorporate and i also think it'd be a really cool thing to also have a little bit of an anchor on the side of the boat falling off of the boat and also destroying a big piece of the landmass down there onto the inside of the boat where you'll notice that absolutely nothing has happened and it is extremely ugly looking in here this is also where i relocated a little bit of the shulker I need to obviously strip all the logs in here, do a ceiling. This one particular area is looking pretty, uh, pretty claustrophobic, I will say. But I do plan on expanding this downwards towards like the actual engine bay. And we'll get into that here in a bit. Or I guess not engine bay, but more like cargo bay. This is the second area right here. This is a lot more of a better looking uh, area, a lot more clean looking. And then, of course, up here, we have the captain's quarters. A little bit more of an open esque area i don't know if those are the words i was looking for but i need to obviously uh, figure out a lot of that type of stuff and obviously the crown going all the way around so yes there's still lots and lots of work to do the boat and i can't wait to detail this using like all kinds of like barrels and like an actual crew would be really cool to do but speaking of which let me show you guys the mushroom farm that i have down below so this is the interior of the ship here. I'm thinking about potentially making a red mushroom farm down here and making a little bit of a cargo bay with a bunch of pallets and stuff. I have just a crazy amount of brown mushrooms at this point. I think I've even started filling. Okay, no, I haven't started filling those just yet, but running out of bone meal, this thing works absolutely fantastic. Absolutely love this thing. I think I'm going to try to make this look like it's part of a giant storage room area type deal and like i said i would like to also farm up some red mushrooms and it looks like i have a little bit of a shulker monster down here as well and of course i just put a hole in my boat bruh but i really hope that you guys are really enjoying the way that this project is going i'm absolutely loving this project i love building boats i love building organics i love building floating islands and we're gonna have to do something about that shadow but I think that we'll have to wait till next time. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Obviously, if you guys like the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing if you guys want to see more mega build action. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. Till next time, I hope you guys all have yourself a great day. Oh, there's a castle here. Whoops.